other organisations. The Chaos Insurgency. The Insurgency is known to have its roots in the Foundation, but the details of their relationship are sketchy. It is not clear whether the Insurgency is a rogue organization spun off from the Foundation, or it serves as a cover organization for Foundation Black Op operations. The Insurgency possesses fewer para-threats, but is known to use them more publicly and less restrictively. Structure The Insurgency appears to be bicameral with one wing devoted to internal and external military operations, and the other to research and implementation, unified under the control of unknown authorities. Resources No information is available regarding their sources of funding, membership, and resources at this time. Standing Orders Minimal Engagements Insurgency operatives are to be considered UTEs. Response levels 2 to 3 by default. Active operations in progress are to be opposed when discovered, with maximum preservation of enemy material for proper analysis and disposal. The Church of the Broken God Members of the Church of the Broken God claim that threat entities are fragmented manifestations of a pantheistic demiurge, whom they seek to reassemble as a means to their own deification. Whether successful or not, such an event would necessarily constitute a massive threat entity emergence via hybridization, and may also initiate an eschatological event sequence either of which would require immediate execution of Procedure Pizzicato. Structure The Church is organized in a hierarchical structure, nominally led by a man named Robert Bumaro. Each office communicates only with those superior, equal, and subordinate to their own. The basic office is that of a chaplain, who directs the activities of a chapel of no more than 20 individuals. Higher orders are responsible for equipment production and threat entity storage. Resources Church funding is drawn from the resources of its members and used to fund all internal expenses. Church operatives may be equipped with either conventional or TE-derived armaments from their chapel's armory, and are largely unaffected by cognitive class threat entities. Standing Orders Engage as soon as possible. Operatives of the Church are to be considered KTEs. Response level 3 by default. 4 if actively aggressive. The Foundation The Foundation is one of the oldest, most enigmatic, and most dangerous organizations involved with the paranormal. The Foundation's mission is the containment and storage of paranormal objects, and they maintain a network of containment sites hidden across the world for this purpose. Although they have similar goals of preserving normalcy, in line with the GOC's second mission, their unethical methods and focus on the containment and study of para-threats, even at risk of their own personnel and civilian bystanders, makes them incompatible with coalition directives. Although there are no official diplomatic ties between the Foundation and the Coalition, the two organizations have carried out several unofficial joint operations, as well as having multiple unofficial ties and agreements to help facilitate smoother relations. Structure The Foundation consists of a loose conglomerate of researchers and field agents working independently under the direction of an Overseer Council of 13 anonymous individuals. The Foundation's main unit of operation is the site, or distinct location, housing one or more para-threats. Little else is known about the internal organization of this group except that they make extensive use of condemned criminals as expendable personnel in their experiments and operations. Resources Little information is available regarding their source of funding, membership, and resources at this time, but they are believed to be extensive. Standing Orders 
Do not engage without authorization from high command. Foundation operatives are to be considered potential threat entities, response levels 0 to 3, based on level of hostility. Operatives are encouraged to prioritize the destruction of any threat entities before they can be captured by the Foundation. Marshall Carter and Dark Limited An amorphous company with extensive economic and financial connections. Specializing in the obtainment of rare and exotic objects, including material threat entities for wealthy individuals. Direct conflict is rare. The company typically prefers to act via blackmail, extortion, and theft rather than force. The locations of their known clientele suggest an origin or headquarters in the British Isles. Structure no information is available regarding their internal organization at this time. Resources Funding is apparently obtained from membership fees and sales. They are not believed to maintain a standard collection of threat entities, only a catalog of their existence and locations. Subscribing members are principally wealthy upper class. Standing Orders Minimize interaction. Engage only if attacked. Members should be considered PTEs, and operatives as KTEs with response level 1. Report all observations and wait for further instructions. Obscura Founded in the wake of the Second World War as a successor to the Thule Society and Abnerbe Abscura Corps, Originally functioned as the Esoteric's arm of Odessa, aiding in that organization's efforts to transport Nazi war criminals to South America and the Middle East, before spinning off as its own organization with its own goals separate from that of the Third Reich. Obscura members seek to apply the principles of eugenics and racial purity to human paranormal abilities, believing that these abilities are proof of pure Aryan blood. Structure Obscura has a cell-based organization, but with a known leadership cast based out of an unknown location. Regular orders and missives are distributed to the membership from the Fuhrer, a person who claims to be the heir of Adolf Hitler. These messages generally take the form of rambling monologues dubbed over Nazi propaganda films, with the occasional hand-drawn map or diagram illustrating particular points of interest. Resources Obscura has inherited several known para-threat level artifacts originally possessed by the Abnerbe and Thule Society. In particular, they are in possession of a Roman lance claimed to be the Spear of Longinus, a short haft hammer claimed to be Mjolnir, and several other artifacts considered important to Abrahamic faiths. The authenticity of these artifacts, either from a historical or para-threat perspective, is uncertain. Standing Orders Response levels 2 to 3 by default. Active operations in progress are to be opposed when discovered. Although the destruction of historical artifacts is regrettable, Coalition operatives should not hesitate to destroy confirmed para-threat artifacts, if in possession of this organization. Scarlet Hammer Scarlet Hammer are the remnants of the former KGB Division of Special Circumstances, responsible for maintaining and utilizing the former USSR's stockpile of paranormal threats. With the fall of the former Soviet Union, several high-ranking officials in the DSC absconded with high-level para-threats, selling them to various organized Russian crime syndicates. At present, Scarlet Hammer acts as the largest arms dealer for para-threat weaponry in the world. Structure Scarlet Hammer's leadership remains anonymous. Allegedly, the organization is led by a figure known only as Victor, believed to be the former director of the Division of Special Circumstances. The organization is cell-based, with no known permanent base of operations. Resources Scarlet Hammer funds itself by selling para-threat level weaponry to criminal and military organizations around the world. 
Although their current stockpile is believed to be limited, a single sale can fetch several billion euros. The most recent known sale is a Parathreat grade gold-plated handgun seven years ago, to an anonymous radical organization based in Yemen. Standing Orders Maintain observation of the organization at response level 1. Report any known sales of Parathreat weapons immediately, including item in question, payment, clientele, and location of sale. As Scarlet Hammer operatives regularly carry Parathreat level weaponry for self-defense, agents are ordered not to engage without direct orders from GOC leadership except when required under a first mission survival imperative. The Serpent's Hand The Serpent's Hand is a para-environmental terrorist organization opposed to the UN's current policy of containing and destroying paranormal entities to maintain the status quo. Members are often para-threats themselves, and the organization makes the retrieval and integration of humanoid and sentient para-threats a priority. The Serpent's Hand has come into conflict with the GOC on multiple occasions, resulting in the deaths of multiple GOC operatives and several complete cells. Structure Unknown Resources Unknown Standing Orders Engage as soon as possible. All confirmed Serpent's Hand members are to be considered KTEs. Response level 4 by default. Famous Incidents The Seventh Occult War An occult war, coinciding with the Second World War, triggered by an attempt by the SS Abnerbe and Thuliga Zellschaft to take advantage of the destruction of LTE-0913 Ex Machina to complete the Rite of Solomon. The events of this war led to the founding of the Global Occult Coalition as a safeguard against further such actions by rogue organizations. McCarthy Truman UFO Scandal of 1951 an illegal attempt to militarize para-threat technology by the United States government, leading to the deaths of the first GOC strike team, 001 Alpha, and the straining of relations between the coalition and the US government. The Cornwall Incident, 1992. A cult based around KTE 9927 Black, the Goddess attempts to complete an illegal magical working. Following a timeline restructuring, GOC covert operative Ukulele successfully liquidates KTE-9927 Black, but suffers severe injuries as a result. Marks the only time in GOC history that procedure Pizzicato has been implemented, albeit unsuccessfully.